Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of my Zelo Crash Let's Play. Um, today, I, um, okay, earlier tonight, I volunteered to help uh, Casey Joe, otherwise known as otherwise known as Fifi, uh, because her name's Felicity um, in real life, um, to help her with her rail subway line. Um, like it go, this is the start where her, her town is. Her town is uh, Shermyville. That's it over, it over there. And I volunteered to help with her subway project. Um, she wanted to... She wants to build a... She has a subway d done already, but she's having an issue with um, people stealing carts all the time, and so there's never enough carts at each end of the tunnel um, for some reason. So what I volunteered to help her to do is to build... a uh, a call cart sort of system where like if you need a cart you can just call it and uh, pick up a cart from the storage cart storage yeah, storage carts in the, uh, are in the other chest um, and, like you press this button and then a cart comes along and arrives and you st pick up a cart and then um, you can Put it down and travel to the other side, and then when you need another cart at the other side, you call the cart and it comes all the way over. And so I volunteered to do this, and I thought it'd be pretty straightforward. But I'm used to when it comes to redstone, I'm really used to working with red power. And so, and even then, my experience with red power is not very much. Um, like gates and such, I'm not really good at, and um, that sort of thing. And uh, things I had got to consider in vanilla Minecraft is repeaters, um, and the fact that um, over the length of this tunnel is about two, about uh, three hundred or so blocks. I forgot the exact length, but it was about that. And um, I I f had I had forgotten that um, redstone signals only travel up to at most 256 blocks away, um, and that being also redstone uh, repeaters, uh, the s uh, rather redstone signals only last 16 blocks, and so you need repeaters. So they only need, they can only travel in one direction instead of two directions for the for the wire. Um, so a little th few things that I forgot to consider in this, so this project became a lot more complicated. So I um, first started with uh, um, I first started with uh, uh, just the basic button, setting this up, making sh getting it all to work properly, uh, and it does. See, there's that. Um, but so. Um, for the 400 block or 300 block whatever distance, I thought of the idea of putting, uh, making the storage cart go midway, uh, so a, or a start and end mid, or yeah, start midway, so that when you call it, it's within your loaded chunk distance, and and so it would come regardless of where it is, hopefully. Um, and so now I have what I have set up here is this sort of thing, like the signal travel, like so, the midpoint, the cart midpoint station or whatever, kind of solves the problem of a one-way uh, redstone wire kind of signal. Um, so it kind of goes up here, and then it it would call the cart. Well, there's supposed to be a block there, but it would call the cart and it would go to its destination. However, the thing is, is that with buttons, like if I press this, it switches, see? Um, it only switches for a second, and so if a cart were come to come, like, and that again, like, it's by default on this, and whatever direction it's defaulted on, it only has a second to go back. And so, that also kind of bring up brings up the problem of when the cart is at the, like the end and it's sent back, uh, it might not be sent back to where it's supposed to go. Um, 
so uh, quite a few problems uh, that I had to that I have to um, deal with. Um, now, like I'm not like I said, I'm not usually I'm not really good with redstone, but I thought you know this is actually a really good project to kind of um, practice the skill in, and so um, I'll take you and because this is this project here, this example here is the real world or whatever the actual um, build. Uh, I just thought I should go into the creative world and kind of do a mock-up and a model and test everything out there so I don't waste materials and and tools and whatnot and, and time for that matter. So I'll take you to, to my creative world example right now. Alright, so we're in the creative world and this is what I've set up so far. Um, ignore that, that was a totally different project. Um, but this is what I've set up so far. Um, here is the here's an example of the track of the um, just the regular subway track, and here's an example of the uh, the call cart track. And what I have set up here is um, okay. I'm gonna destroy these carts. Oh crap. Okay. Um, okay. So what I had set up here is that. Uh, the cart would go in the middle, and then when you press this button, um, uh, it would uh, not. It would okay. I'll press the button. See, it activates both that and that, so it operates for both. Um, and so, not only does it uh, activate these two powered rails, but uh, the signal. Uh, go around here. The signal uh, goes up to there with a the delay, but it also travels down to this T flip flop, which I am have not been experienced with, but you know I'm getting used to. Um, to this T flip flop, which would make the button act as a switch, and then go to this XOR gate. Uh, I'm not too sure if this is the proper gate for one thing, uh, for this sort of project. But to this XOR gate, so it would switch the rail uh, to it like. It would keep it uh, to where it's just on the same side, um, and and then same thing for the for the other side naturally, and then um, <clears throat> so when like so say you car call a cart to come to this side, then when you press this button and like it t when you're riding the cart here you take you press this button and it takes you to the other side. It would pass over this uh, pressure plate, uh, which would activate the cart, the called the called cart, which would be over here, and then send it back to the middle. Um, okay, I'll just kind of do that for now. And so that sort of what? Oh, the delay! Crap. Um, yeah, so there's a few things I still have to work on, as you can see. Maybe one delay? Yes, yes. Oh, this is getting a lot more complicated. Uh, that um, pressure plate here was supposed to uh, detect an oncoming cart, so it, it would uh, keep that direction. But obviously... Yeah, I'll have to make a much larger version. Yeah, I've concluded that um, because this whole thing is so compact, I'd have to make a much larger version in order to for, to actually test it properly. Um, so Huh, okay. Um so I'll call that cart. Comes over there. 
And yeah, see, it switches. So if um, that that's an example of what might happen, which I'm afraid of. Um, so if this cart passes over there, it does that. And ignore the bouncing, because if this was a longer rail, that wouldn't happen. Um, or shouldn't happen, rather. But yeah, that's an example of what would happen uh, with that switch there. Um, it's involving a little, a little more redstone wire and gates than I'm used to. And I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm so not used to this sort of thing that I'm, it's kind of giving me a headache. Um, but, um, so what I'll do right now is make a larger version, a much larger version of this whole thing. Not the full 300 blocks, because that's a little much. Um, but, well, I might. I'll also have to see. Um, but, you know, it's one that doesn't, you know, kind of solve some of the problems I might be having. So, uh, you'll, yeah, I'll just, I'll just cut that here. Okay. Okay, guys, so here is a partly, you know, not with the gates, but just the basic sort of does, uh, like, what it come if you call sort of thing. Um, like a dog, or a trained animal. Not my cat, because she's definitely not trained. Anyway, um, and it looks like it does, which is awesome. I originally had, um, see, like, you see here, just one away, so it doesn't interfere with, interfere with this, uh, this uh, track a track switch here, um, but I found that it doesn't really work um, because uh, when the cart comes, it doesn't go all the way to the end, and I need it to go all the way to the block in order for it to be to be called back. So unfortunately, it has this this powered rail has to be here instead of one away. Um, so I'm gonna move that right now. Yeah, it interferes. It's, ugh, anyway, um, so yeah, I don't want that to happen. Um, oh, I should uh. I thought that, like, with an empty cart, if it travels 16 blocks, it'll be okay on its own, but it needs to travel every 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's going to take a lot more powered rails than I hoped to do this, but, oh well. Okay, so that's the basic uh, layout. And if it, now that it's switched, I might as well see if it does from the other end, just to get that basic down. Oh, no button, okay. And it does, so that's cool. Okay, so that works. Shit. Okay, and so now I'm going to um, build the gates. Uh, Right, I want to do. So I, I um, because the um, this the flat world as you can see, obviously, and it's only three deep, as you can see. Um, so one, two, three, and then right below that, it's uh, bedrock. And so I put it on these super elevated rails or a level, uh, to sort of emulate uh, the actual model, because it will be those like 50 levels underneath this, or 60 or even 70 levels underneath this. So I wanted to make it a little more realistic in that respect. Um, and so I, I do have lots of space underneath to put uh, gates and whatnot if I wanted to. So I'll do that right now, and I'll show you guys what I've, what, yeah, or just, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I have 
set up the T flip flops and um, I've also set up the XOR gate so hopefully this works I think I set that up correctly I, I at least I hope I did anyway um, so I hope this works um, so instead of it coming down from this one um, Actually, there should be a delay here. Let's make that two. So signal comes in, and then there's a delay on this one, so it, it be, takes a bit to power the powered rail. Uh, comes down to the T flip flop, comes over to uh, this uh, XOR gate and then sends the signal vertically up to the rail. Um, so it does work um, f for the most part. Um, hmm, maybe. Maybe if I, if I hook this up to that, um, so yeah, I'll set up the the subway track. Uh, ignore the every eight blocks. It'll be every thirty-two blocks, but ignore the every eight blocks for the sake of the test, um, because I won't be riding the cart. Um, So let's say the cart is called, comes along, come on, yeah, there we go, grab a cart, stick on the track, and then press the button, huh, that works, and then of course you would be stopping here and getting off and whatnot. Um, and then you want to call the cart here, but it, no, it won't. Damn it. Well, it works one way, it doesn't work the other. Uh, Works one way, but not the other. Okay. Um. I'll have to do some fiddling around. I think I'm not too sure what to do here. Uh, yeah. Just give me a sec. All right, guys. So what I realized with uh, our snore latch, um, I don't actually need two outputs. I only need after reviewing some other our logic gate and latch videos, I realized that I only need one output, and but two inputs, one output but works perfectly for this. So um, instead of trying to use an AND gate or OR gate or XOR or, or whatever gate, um, I just have the one input coming down. And I don't actually need this here. The one input, when the one output coming down going up to the switch here and then 
this works perfectly now. It works. It works. It works. So clicking that button now, call the call the cart. You get a cart. You put cart down here. You get in cart, and then start, and then pressure plate makes the cart go back. You travel to the other end. And then you take the cart out if you want to. And then, oh, what, what just happened? What just happened? That wasn't. That didn't happen the last time. Well, maybe it accidentally pressed. I don't know what just happened. Um. Okay. Let's call the cart on this side. So that does work. And then let's actually take out these two here. Um, actually put that one in. Take the one out. Same thing for the other side. One out, and power that one. Okay, so if I put a cart down, okay, and it goes, and that stays there, and this goes over here. Oh, that shouldn't be... Oh, I don't know what I was doing here. I don't know why I did that. But that shouldn't be there. Okay, so... Let's send this card back. So, call the cart. Put this cart down, and then... Set off, you're off on your own. Sends back, and it works perfectly. So, all I need is an RS Nor latch, and it's pretty much good to go. So, I'll um, take you guys back to the Zelacraft world and um, kind of set it up there. So, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I'm back in the Zillacraft world, and so I am going to start um, building the larger scale version of this, um, which will be a little more tedious than in the test world, obviously, but you know, it should should go okay. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go to the midpoint first, test out the RS Nor latch with the buttons and then go from there. So I'll travel there and um, I'll, yeah, do that. Okay. Alright, so I have set up um, the RS Noah latch inside here. Um, should be one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's safe. Uh, RS Nor latch uh, with a. I think this is a, a Nor gate or an Or gate. I forgot. Um, going up to the switch there, and it does work. Um, I tested it, so it's going towards that way right now. Then we press it. It goes here, and then if you press it again for any reason, it doesn't go back, and then same for the other side, press it, it switches. Uh, actually, I think I should put in a repeater here, oh shoot, um, I wonder if that'll work if I do it like this, no, that's not going to work, okay, um, What I will do instead then is try to put a repeater there, but I don't want to repeat over there. So Oh 
or delay rather. Hmm, more iron. Okay. Um. Okay. So I'll put in a repeater or a delay there right now, and then test it out. All right. So I uh, put in a delay for tick delay. So this would split off. Oh wait. No, that's not supposed to be the four tick delay. Um, this is supposed to be the four tick delay. A uh, four tick delay on that side. Yep. Okay. So um, this is going that way. So this over here. Click this button. Switches first, and then powers. And on this side, click switches first, and then oh, oh, it doesn't power. Oh, whoops! Switches first, and then okay, there was a bit of delay, so that's good. So I'm going to test this out now. So that goes there. Let's take down this wall for now. Take out a bit of this wall so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So click, powers, and goes. Okay. Okay. And then I'll send that back. And so, we, if we want to call the cart in the middle, click, switches, and send it. Awesome. And then I'll send it back the same way. Okay, so that works. So now let's do this full extension. Uh, and that, I still have to do a bit of mining, so that'll take a bit, and I'll... Um, put down, lay down the track for that side as well. So I'll see you guys in a bit and hopefully this works out. Alright, uh, I ran out of one of my picks while I was digging the tunnel down that way, so in the meantime while I wait for some iron to cook, I um, decide, I decided to put to do a little test run to see how if the signal would travel uh, you know, the distance. And so I put the cart, and I, I had to put powered rails every eight because I had forgotten once again, once again, that um, uh, carts, uh, heavy carts, um, heavier carts with like chests and, and such with in, in them only travel so far um, with powered rails. So here's chest cart, and I'm going to run all the way back to the and over there to see if it'll come when I call it. Okay. Okay, so I'm back at the beginning here, and then I'm going to call it to see if it comes. Hmm. I don't see anything. Has it come at all? Uh, did it even travel? Did the signal even go that far? It should. I guess it didn't. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's a problem. Um, hmm. Ah. OK. 
Okay, I think I'm going to I'm going to take out some of the rails to see if the uh, signal signal is even you know turning the redstone on in the first place, and if it or maybe repeaters need to be put more often. I don't I don't know. Um, I'll make another button. So I'm gonna. Oh, I don't have a pick. Of course I don't. <sighs> um. Make myself a pick. I make two just in case. Hmm. Okay, I'll take out these rails here. Okay. So pressing this button. Okay, it does activate. Okay, that means it might be. Damn it. Might be a repeater. Um, I'll put it every 14 instead of 15. So I'm going to take all these rails out and then um, see you in a bit. Okay, so what I discovered is that the problem isn't with repeaters, it might actually be with the distance, unfortunately, um, because when you press this button, see it go all the way down the line and I went along the line and pressed buttons every so often to see if they would connect properly and they did all the way to where it was supposed to go so I had just set my render settings to extreme to see if that would make a difference and now I have to put all the rails back in to see if my render distance would actually make a difference so I'll go, I'll do that right now. Uh, interesting to note, um, when I came back here, when I put down all the stone, came back here to find that the cart was actually right over here, so that means something is working. Um, and render distance might actually make a difference. Um, so I'm, I'm going to uh, put down the track uh, bit by bit to see where the problem ends or you know starts or whatever um, so I'm gonna lay some of the track down here oh, I keep doing that and then maybe one more and then I'll put the And then I'll come over here, put that storage cart down, okay, and then run to the other end again. Like, it shouldn't, it should be okay. I don't know. Okay, so the, but, the cart didn't budge this time, so I'm guessing it might have to do with um, some kind of interference with the repeaters in some way or form, so I'm going to go back to the end to see if taking out some of these blocks, um, some of this cowl and then pressing the button would let the signal still travel the distance. And if not so, then I'll have to lower the entire uh, wire area one block, which is going to be a pain, but yeah. So, um, okay, I'm going to take out, say, some of these blocks here. Cover that up for now. Okay, uh, let's cover that just to see if it'll do anything. Actually, uh, can 
Can I see that from that angle? No, I can't. Okay. I'll have to take these out. Can I see that? Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so it is traveling, so I don't understand why it's not working. Maybe because of the rails? Okay, I'll put power rail there. Still traveling, so I don't I don't understand why it's not working. This is such a pain. Yeah, the cart hasn't traveled at all. I don't understand what's going on. Okay, I am going to put that there. Okay, so the RS nor latch has switched to this side, and so if I press the button at that end, this should switch back. So I'm going to go back to the other end and do that. Okay, so I went to the other end and I switched it and it switched back. So that means that there is a signal being sent. There is just something is wrong with this somehow. And I don't understand what. And it got switched to that side too, so I don't... Something is wrong here. I don't understand what's going on. So that does work, so I don't... don't understand what's going on. Well, at least we know that the signal does travel that far, so that's good. It's just this part doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. Gonna move that back one. This one. Oops. Two over here. Okay, so. Let's take this cart and put it back there. back. I don't understand this. I don't understand this at all. Okay, when you press this button, it switches and it does that. 
Okay, so that's been established. And then it switches and powers. So when you go back, you press this button, sends the signal, and you go. I'm going to go back to the middle. Okay, and it does switch, but it doesn't send it a, send a signal to the cart. So I don't understand why it's not working. Don't understand. Like I don't. This is so extremely frustrating. It should send a signal. Should send a signal no matter what. It sends a signal to that, so why doesn't it send a signal to this? I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, I am. Um, I really don't know. Um, this video has probably gone long enough, so I, uh, I, uh, I don't know, um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to build the other side and to see, and see if the same issue occurs. So, I'll see you, I'll see you guys when I have set up that side and laid the track and all that and see if the problem occurs on the other side. So, yeah. Okay, so I have laid down the track on this side and so I'm going to see if the signal will travel. Um, so it's already switched, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to see if the signal will travel to the cart to power the rail all the way back. So I'll cut to that in a moment. Okay, I'm going to call the cart. And nothing. That's fantastic. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this. I really don't. I really, really don't. <sighs> like, okay. In theory, when you press this button, it calls the cart, and that works just fine. But when you do it from all the way over there, it still switches the signal, but doesn't call the cart. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. So it's switched that way, and I'm going to do it one more time, and if it doesn't work, I am going to go a bit crazy. Uh, but, okay, I'll leave the track, but I am going to leave this middle part for later, because I don't know what is going on with it. So that is done that way. Alright, so I've laid the track for the most part. Um, I ran out of powered rails, uh, about four of them maybe. But that should be fine. I'm going to call the cart and then see if the cart comes. And of course, the cart doesn't come, but the rail has switched. So I really don't understand what is going on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this for now before I go crazy, 
and yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, sorry if this is a bit of a long video. I did. Sp I am spending quite a bit of time on this. I uh, spent most of the day thinking about this, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully I can get this problem figured out, and if, I, if any of you watching know what's going on with my problem here, please let me know. Um, as I said, the rail is, like, the RS NOR latch, like, the signal is being sent to the distance, the RS NOR latch is being switched, and therefore the rail... Uh, direction is being switched as well, but for, um, in a close range, when I press the button in close range, it switches and the cart gets sent, but in, from far away, the cart doesn't get sent for some reason. So, if you know what's going on with this, please let me know, because this is kind of driving me crazy. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.